In this tutorial, we will go through a quick familiarization of the tools available to you in VideoWave. I will also show you how to do some simple things that will help you make your productions more compelling. Let's get started. You'll first go into VideoWave by choosing Edit and Share in the Roxio Game Capture Launchpad. VideoWave will allow you to make some cool productions in a small amount of time. When first arriving into VideoWave, you will be asked if you want to create a normal or widescreen production. Most of the games you'll be capturing will more than likely be widescreen, so I'd recommend sticking to 16x9. Choose your setting and click OK. Now that we're in VideoWave, let's take a quick look around to get your bearings. On the left is your Add Content module. This is where you can add photos, videos to your productions as well as effects. This is probably the single most important area of VideoWave since this is where most of your attention will be focused when adding your creative magic. On the right is where your media selector is. It's important to know where all of your game captures are going. This is something you'll be setting up in your capture utility. For me, I just save all of my videos in the standard video directory under my documents. You can just point VideoWave to this directory so that in the future all of your videos will always show up here. It's also here where you can take a look at all the transitions and effects that are available to you. Remember, there are always a couple ways of doing things in VideoWave. You can use the Add Content module or the Effects Selector to add in your creative. Whichever method is more comfortable to you. Next I will show you the Production Editor. This area was designed to create a quick production for getting in and out and making something compelling with very little effort, but also powerful enough to allow for more experienced editors that want to spend more time with their production and have total control over the timeline and their movie. What I am showing here is the Storyline Editor. This makes it quite easy to drag and drop video and make quick adjustments. Lastly, we have the preview area. This is where you can see your production in real time and also see all of the edits and effects that you've added to your movie be applied. This is also where you can output your final production to the desired format and even to the cloud to YouTube and Facebook. Okay, so now that you have a good look at the landscape, let's put together a quick production with a simple transition and then upload it to YouTube. I've gone to my media selector and drag and dropped one of my capture videos to slot number one. It's here where I can trim my video. Maybe I don't want the whole thing. I can do this by either double clicking on the video or I can click on the scissors making sure my video is highlighted. More than likely I just want a piece of this so I will set the start and end point of this particular video. And there it is. I've easily trimmed this three minute video into a one minute segment. How about we add in another video? This is easily done again by dragging in another video from our media selector and placing it in the number two slot of our production editor. Let me now show you how to throw a transition in between these two videos. Click the Effects Selector tab that sits right next to the Media Selector tab on the right side. It's here where you can browse all of the available transitions. You can also preview what they look like by clicking the little play icon. Once you find a transition that works for you, drag that transition to the transition block of your production. So in this case, I want the transition to show in between these two videos I have in my production editor here. It's that easy. You now have a cool looking transition that takes you from the first video to the second. Let me now show you how to add some text to your production. You'll first need to decide how you want the text to behave in your movie. For this example, I'm just going to have text fade in and out on one portion of my video. First, I highlight the video I want to add the effect to. And then on the left panel where it says Add Content, I choose Add Text Effects. It's here where I can choose a variety of styles for this tutorial. I'll just choose the first one, which is a basic black font. It will then ask me if I want to add to the whole production or just a particular portion of the video. Since I only want it to show shortly, I will choose to have it just display on this internal track. Once I do this, I now get my text window overlaid onto my video. It's here where I can type my message and I can also change the font, color, or location. Let's say for example I want it to fade in and out. That's easily achieved. Once I'm happy with it, just click OK. OK, so now we know how to create transitions and even text overlays. Lastly, let's show you how to output your masterpiece. Once you're happy with your production, you want to output the results. There are a couple ways to achieve this. I will show you one of the easiest methods. Click the movie reel at the top of the preview module. You'll be asked to save your production, which is always a good idea. Once saved, you'll be presented with the output screen. It's here where you can choose a number of formats and quality for your movie. This is great if you want to output to a physical video file, but if you're like me, you'll want to get it on the web to show your friends. Let me show you how that works. Uploading to YouTube is super easy. Click the YouTube button at the top of the preview module. In this example, I'm already logged in. You will need to be to go any further, so be sure to do that. Click Next and you'll go through the standard YouTube workflow of adding a title, your tags, and description and the category the video it belongs to. Once you have all of that filled out, you can then post. 
This process will take a few minutes. It's really dependent on how long your piece is. Normally for me it takes roughly 10 minutes. Also keep in mind it takes time for it to refresh on YouTube as well. YouTube is now publishing your video. It should only be a matter of minutes now before you can see it on your own YouTube channel. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you in showing you the basic landscape of VideoWave and even taking you through a couple steps of creating your first video. Happy editing and good luck with your productions!